Hi everyone, how you doing? This is Joe, and we are playing Kerbal Space Program. Now, I've not played this in ages. Since I had my laptop, well, I've still got my laptop, but since I last played on my laptop, I haven't played this because there's been so many updates. We'll, we'll start a new profile, and as you can see, there is going to be a career mode, which looks very good. We're just going to play sandbox mode. Just mess about and try and get some stuff into orbit around some planets, and then we'd land on the moon. Because... I'm not the most talented of astronauts or pilots of flying space stuff. So we're going to start off here with whatever this is. A little pod for our little kerbals to go into. If you don't know what this game is, it's basically you get these little guys, little kerbals. They live on a planet called Kerbin, I think. They're very cool and hilarious. And like it says in the title, it's Kerbal Space Program. So you can use all these different resources here that you can see and build rockets to go to all these different planets which we can't look at yet but I'll show you once we are actually taking off. So we're going to start off, we've got this little pod, this is a small pod I believe, only one can go in, I'm not entirely sure, it might be three Kerbins, Kerbals even, that can go in there. But what we need, first of all, is a decoupler. Now, a decoupler means that you can take this off. So, you see this down the bottom right, you have step 0 and step 1. So, when I press space, if I launch it now and press space, that would go, it would decouple that, so that would pop off and then fall to the ground. So, that's what the decoupler is, if that makes any sense. And we have an SAS module. This stops the spaceship from veering off left and right and spinning and everything when it's taking off. Keeps it going in a straight line. And we'll also need some RCS. If I can find it, where is it? It should be on here, page 2. Here, we can see some RCS tanks. Now what the RCS tanks are... Are the, I'll show you. They're these little thrusters. So you put these on on your ship, and it just puts out a little bit of thrust to like turn it and pinpoint it to where you want it to go. So now we add on some fuel tanks. I think we'll add just that for now. Um, we'll have a small engine doesn't let so much fuel be used at once. Now, this is the fun part. This is the part where we have to... This is what's going to... We're going to try and get us to land on the moon, I think we'll try and do today. We'll try and get us to land on the moon. So what we need is a bigger decoupler, which, if I can remember, is here. It's this one. The size of that. It's not attached yet, but we will attach it in a little while. And we'll use these bigger fuel tanks and a bigger engine okay so there's the fuel tanks now what you can do here is symmetry symmetry even not symmetry symmetry so this sheet you can divide it up into two three four five six whatever so if we do it by four and then what you can do you go here and we can get this decoupler and put it here. So as you can see it puts four automatically around the spaceship, like so. Now this is again just another decoupler. So whatever I put on these decouplers can, I can eject off through mid-flight. So what we're going to put on these decouplers are more engines, or more fuel tanks even, not engines. There we go, that's on. So more fuel tanks. And we'll put another one underneath. Go on, I'm going to put another one on. And some more engines. Now, that's a pretty beast of a rocket so far. So what we're going to do now is add even more to it. I'm going to add some more decouplers, if I can find them. There they are. Again, the same, I think. And instead of putting more engines on, we're going to put... Find them are thrusters which don't last very long 
but they sure as hell do get you going. So I think this will be our ship for takeoff for now. I don't know how far this is going to go. I've never tested it. <laughs> this might not work at all. We're going to name it. What shall we call it? Let's call it Jolly One. Jolly One. So we've got Jolly One here. And what we have to do now is attach all these struts. This basically just holds it all together and stops it wobbling during takeoff. So you can see I've got the symmetry on, so it's doing it on each side, so I don't have to worry about having to do it for every single one. Doesn't work. There we go. Into this side. Just to this. It doesn't matter if it looks messy, but it just stops it from wobbling about and just being annoying. That one doesn't seem to want to go anywhere. There we go. So now if you look at this, it should be the same all the way around, which it is. And all we have to do now is attach... Ah, we're missing something very important. I completely didn't even notice. I'm going to attach loads to that because that is going to be wobbling around like hell. If hell does wobble about, but you know what I mean. So I think that's everything joint to something else to stop it from wobbling. We are missing quite a few bits actually. First of all, we need a parachute because we have to abort mission. And then that can just flow back down to earth with our Kerbal in it. And we also need legs. Because we can't land if you don't have legs. If these will go on now, it should it should be fine. There we go. Some legs. We could add some. I think we should add some fins or not. No, I <laughs> think it looks silly. Not that many, obviously. But still, it looks perhaps there. But I think it'd be in the way of the legs. No, that'll do. I think that's cool. We can have that. So I believe that we are done. All we have to do now is add... There is it. This. So what this does when you're on the launch pad, it stops it from tipping over and just supports it until you take off. So I have that there, holding it. Now the fun bit begins. We have to use all these parts here. So you see it says eight, seven, six, five, four. Each time someone press space it will activate this one. So as soon as I start and press space it will activate the thrusters. But we don't want it to just activate the thrusters, we want to activate all these engines as well. So we need to put all the engines down onto the first one and all the fuel tanks as well down here. And we'll just add all these down as well because I don't know. Where else they can go? Let's just take it up an entire space otherwise. And then we've got the couplers, the thrust of the couplers, which we want to come off first, considering they will burn first, and then we need these ones, which is these ones to go once these fuel tanks have gone. Now once we press that, we press it again and that'll start this engine. Oh dear, I was not meant to do that. <laughs> um Undo. Undo. Oh no. That may have just stopped recording. Okay, I stopped recording by accident, but we're back. Um, ah, there we go. Oh, scared me. What is that floating there? What are you? Go away. Okay. So where was I? Oh yeah, sorting these out. So we've got the couplers there, so once they've gone, they'll fall off. Start the engine of the middle one. Once that engine's gone, use that big decoupler, and that will set off our little spaceship to go and land on the moon. Press it again, and that'll work. The LCS will come on. And then if need be, we can take that off there. So we're going to save that as Jolly 1, and we'll go to the launch pad.
Maybe. <laughs> there you go, we've got the launch pad. Look at that. Absolutely massive. So first of all, we're going to put on our SAS, which you can see here by pressing T, which just stop it, stops it from wobbling. That is massive. That's a big one. I thought it'd be, but still, it's cool. So let's put engines on full throttle. You can go in the cockpit and have a look around. If you want to, there's no windows. Oh, there's a window there. The sky, excellent. So we do have just one Kerbal here. You can see here, Jebediah. He is the best Kerbal. He's always happy, even if you're like dying. So three, two, one, go. And they're off. Oh, we're veering away straight away. I start thinking maybe I should have put more SAS stuff on. I have to manually control it. Okay, so the thrusters should go soon. We want to try and get down the 90 degree angles. So that way, then we're on the same orbit route as the moon. Oh dear! Right, go. It's more stable now, the thrust has gone. A bit. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, I didn't know, I really should have put some more SAS stuff on here. So I'm really struggling to keep this on the 90 degree mark. We are spinning a bit. Loads of speeds. The fuel is nearly gone. Okay, let's just bring it down a bit more than 90 mark. There you go, they're gone. That's a lot more stable now. Okay, so this should get us into orbit quite easily. Now we're actually in space now. So we're going to try and bring it back down and we're going to cut the engines. And now I can show you the map. So this is the map, this is Kerbin, Kerbin, the Earth, so to speak. And if you zoom out, we've got the Moon, Mun. You yeah, have another planet called a Minimus. Go yeah, even further, which is just unbelievably far. We've got Eve. We have Moho, Juna, and even further out is Jewel. Well, I've never been to any of these. The only ones I've ever been to are these ones here in this tiny little orbit <laughs> in these. But then I've not played it since these were added, so. I have been to each one, so to speak, so my mission now is to get to all the others. So if we go back to the map and zoom in on Earth, this is our apoapsis. And this is where the spreadsheet is going to go to. It's going to reach 213,000 meters and it's going to crash back down towards Earth. But we obviously don't want that. So as soon as we get to here, which we can do by speeding up time. So now we are here. What we're going to do, if we bring up this, we turn off our SAS so we can turn it. And we're going to slowly turn, because we are quite a big ship, so take, we could just turn on, on our RCS and it, yeah, there's the thrusters there. But we don't want to waste that, we want to save that. And we're going to go here. Okay, they don't seem to be doing anything, <laughs> I can't stop it from turning. Uh, stop turning, please. Okay, come back. RCS fuel is going to be gone at this rate. We just need this fuel, this fuel though, just to get out of orbit and head towards the moon. Okay, so once we get down to this 90 degree mark, we can go full, full thrust. Okay, that'll do. Let's go. Let's go back to the map. We went way over it, so that's going to be a bit more awkward, but that's fine. As long as we get an orbit around Earth. So we 
very weird orbit, mind you. It's not going to be perfectly round. As you can see. <laughs> but there we go, we've cut the engines there, we have an orbit now. So we have it, we have a very weird, not perfect. I could make it perfect just by going here and then making that come in a bit, but it doesn't really matter. But there's one thing we have to do now. And that is wait until we see the moon over the crest of the earth. So let's speed things up a bit. And once we see the moon over the crest of the earth, that's when we go full throttle again and attempt to get out of orbit and head towards the moon. Shouldn't go that fast. Where are you, moon? Where are you, moon? Just in orbit, spinning around. I don't want to go too fast because if I go too fast, it will not be perfect. You can see on speed now, it's gone quite fast. Slowing down as of now because we're probably going further away. Oh, that's the sun. But is the moon in front of the sun? No, it's behind us. So let's speed it up, we'll just look at it from here. Should catch up with it now anyway. Okay, so we're about to see it. Let's go back to our main view. And we should see it now. There it is. Okay, that's good. So what we need to do now is again try and turn it. Put a bit of thrust on just to turn it. No, wrong way. Wrong way. Off, put our RCS on. Okay, get the 90 degree mark right there. Not like it's going to stop, it's going to carry on going, which is just excellent. Now, I definitely think I'll put the RS SAS thing on the wrong bit, I should have put it on the, the bigger one on. Thrust. Okay, good. Stay there, please. Now, as you can see, now our orbit is going out. I'm going to slow it down because it speeds up very fast. Hopefully, we join up with the moon. There we go. So, that orbit there, we're going to go quite close to the moon. Let's go. We're not under acceleration, buddy. We're pretty on too far now. There we go. Off we go to the moon. <laughs> 